Okay, folks, this is Paul, the Air Force Guy, coming to you from Beckley's Camping Center. Today, we're going to talk about the expedition, a, the, the expedition which is by A-Liner. Now, the difference I have here today I'm going to show you is these both have the dormers on it, but you see one has, the one on your left, or my left, I should say, has the uh, soft dormers, and the one on the right has the hard dormers. So let's go ahead and take a look at these. So the hard dormers, that's going to be a little bit heavier. So you can see your um, dry weight on this is about 2,200 pounds. Tongue weight, after you put the propane bottles on it and the battery, is going to be a little over 300 pounds. Now you can see on the outside here, you have your stereo speakers. Now these come with, you can get an option where the stereo speakers actually light up. There's also uh, nice cool lights that are up underneath the bottom as well, kind of in, enhances your camping site here. Also back here, you'll see there's a little area for you to go ahead and hang your outside grill. It has storage doors front and back. And then of course on the off door side, you'll see that's where your water heater is gonna be, your connection port uh, for your uh, fresh water hose, fill your fresh water tank, your cable, has your uh, electric hookup, of course, your outside, your uh, the AC is sticking out on this side, so it's not going to be intruding into your camping side. It'll have an outside shower. Of course, that'll be your furnace point. Below that is going to be your drain for the sink. And of course, that's two um, maintenance doors for you to get behind your refrigerator. Then you also have another storage door on this side. Now, on the front, these things are equipped with a solar plug and that's for ZAMP solar so that if you wanted to extend your camping if you were dry camping you could do that you'll also notice that they're going to come with assist uh, lifts for the um, for the tops you'll have those front and back on both sides and then of course you also have these which are your high wind kit now they used to be cables and they have since gone to uh, a rigid pole those things could be used not only as um, the high wind kit, but also assist you with putting the camper up and pulling it back down as well. So let's go on inside. We're gonna look inside the one with the hard dorm dormers first. And what I wanna do is show you what you're looking at. So now this particular one, I left the sofa, I put the bed sofa in the up position to let you see what that would be like during the day. Now it is kind of deep, so it, it's kind of tough to actually sit there. But you'll notice now in the hard dormer ones, you only have one window on either end. So it's not going to be as bright, not going to be as much airy, but it is, of course, I guess you could say more secure. Uh, so you have your sofa, you're going to have a little bit of storage underneath there. Remember, you can get to that from the outside as well. You'll see that you have your hookup if you decide to put a TV. That's where your cable connection will be on the inside. See across the counter, that's going to be your sink. The round part is your sink. You have your AC behind it. And then, of course, your two burner uh, cooktop. Down below, that'll be your microwave. And then the furnace is below that. You'll see that the um, controls for your water heater, water pump, and the refrigerator vent, which you need, you want to vent things to the outside, are right here. Now, you do get course your uh, three-way refrigerator and this will actually have a little freezer inside of it so you actually can put some, some stuff in the freezer you know ice cubes and stuff is that that nature so but it is a three-way refrigerator so you can work that on propane 110 or on uh, battery battery is just to maintain it so you see in the front you're gonna have your dinette booth that's across the front. Up in the front there, of course, you're also going to have the power vent fan on the top, and that's really great for air circulation. And then on the door side, that's where you're going to have some counter space, cabinet space, and your toilet. So you see here, you have a little bit of storage up underneath this one. And then if you need to, then of course for the toilet, then you could, you know, just lift this up, and that does have a way to stay up. And that is where your toilet is. That does come equipped with a stereo, which you would put right over here. Plug that in. It's just a removable face. That's an AM FM CD stereo. And then, of course, the fire extinguisher. 
So this is the one without the soft dormers. That was the hard dormer. Let's go over and take a look at the one with the soft dormers. And let me show you so that the dry weight on the one with the hard dormers was 2,200 pounds. So this one's going to be about 26 pounds less weight on here. So let's take a look and see what we have inside here. So you see, again, you're going to have your refrigerator. There's your microwave with the furnace, storage, your sink, your two, two burner cooktop here. See how, they, how easy they, they make things? Makes it very easy to put things away, pack things up. That goes away. Of course, you can see your air conditioner. And then, of course, that's what your bed would look like. Some people just take these uh, cushions out and just buy a mattress that fits right in there, and they just make it a bed the whole time. And as you can see, if you have the soft dormers, look at how much bigger your window is. Plus, you have access to opening up the sides. Now, that does not have the plastic um, protection that you have on this back window or the front window would, but it would give you complete airflow. So this was what the bed area would look like back here. Of course, the uh, your storage area, the toilet area is going to be identical. Same thing up front. And of course, you can see what it looks like here. So in that dinette booth, the front dinette booth does break down and makes a bed. And that's something we can show you how that works. So hopefully that intrigued you enough, peak, maybe piqued your interest. If you'd like to see more on these A-liners or any other campers, please do call or stop by Beckley's Camping Center and ask for Paul, the Air Force guy. Thanks for watching, and we'll come back at you shortly.